Hello, everybody. I'm Dave from the Polypad team, and I am here to share with you our Polypad updates for June 2024. The first update is this new label on the balance scale. So you can see it has an equal sign right now when the sides are balanced. If I place a nine on this side, uh, it will change to a greater than symbol. Nine is greater than nothing over here. If I put a 10 on the other side, it'll switch to the less than symbol. Nine is less than 10. Um, and I can balance them again and have it come back to an equal sign. Like many uh, tiles on Polypad that have labels, you can decide to turn them off by clicking on the tile and then going to the More Tools menu. And you can see there's this toggle called Show Labels. So now I've turned the label off and the balance scale functions as you'd expect. If you are authoring an activity and you don't want students to have access to that toggle, you can go to the File tab, turn on Authoring Mode, and control whether students have access to that toggle or not. You can learn more all about Authoring Mode by clicking on this Learn More button right here. Uh, all that's new in June of 2024 is this label appearing on the balance scale but you can, can dive into authoring mode to decide if you want students to have access to that toggle or not. Okay, the next thing that's new is how authors can control whether a tile is visible or not on the canvas. So let me uh, do this example with some dice. So I will get uh, maybe just two dice on the canvas that I want students to be able to roll. But maybe uh, for some activity, I don't want the dice to be on the screen initially. Maybe they have to do something and then click a button for the dice to appear. Uh, I'm still in authoring mode. And one of the options in authoring mode under interactivity is I could set these dice to cannot move or delete. And that's especially helpful when I have dice on an activity. I don't want students to accidentally delete the dice I don't want them to move them around. I just want them on the screen so you can roll them and not move them around. So you can see now, if I go outside of authoring mode, I can't move these. Uh, I can not hit delete. I can roll them. I could turn off these actions, tabulate and play, just like you can turn off the show labels toggle. You can turn off actions on the dice, head to learn more to learn more about how to do that. But what's new in June of 2024, is if I'm in authoring mode, there's this toggle called visible that was part of interactivity. So we had an option under interactivity of invisible, but what that meant is if a tile went from hidden to visible, you couldn't have it set to something like cannot move or delete. It would always go back to normal. So now what I can do, I can make these tiles invisible, I'm going to add an action button that's going to show the tiles. So I'm going to have this action be show. Again, these buttons aren't new. So if this is the first time you're seeing a buttons on Polypad and you want to learn more about how to add these buttons, head to the learn more button and there'll be a link to learn all about buttons. But now if I go outside of authoring mode, uh, this button is ready to go. I'm going to go outside of authoring mode. You can see the dice aren't there. And when I click show, the dice are going to appear, but I still can't move them because that setting of cannot move or delete is preserved on these tiles. I can roll them. I can select both of them and roll them. I can try to delete them. I can't. Delete is not working on my keyboard. Right? So because now this visible toggle is separate from interactivity, I can keep the tiles as cannot move or delete. So that's what's new in June of 2024, having this visible toggle be removed from the interactivity dropdown. Okay, uh, and again, if you wanna learn more about all these features of authoring mode, you can click on learn more. It'll take you to the authoring mode section of our tutorial and this link goes to documentation about all of these options. While I'm here, I'll go to the What's New section. And here we are in June. I'm making the video right now. We talked about the labels. We talked about the visibility toggle. 
The other thing that's new is we've significantly improved keyboard accessibility on Polypen, including how you can select multiple tiles, how you can focus on tile handles, uh, you can pan now with the arrow keys. To learn all about these new accessibility options, go to the What's New menu, or go to the, uh, the Tutorial menu on Polypad, and click on Accessibility. And here you'll find uh, documentation about how all the accessibility features work on Polypad. So uh, we're really excited about these new, the new way to use the keyboard to interact with Polypad. I'll be making some more videos about that to share. Uh, but for now, you can just head to the accessibility section of the help menu and learn about these new features. Thanks very much for watching this What's New video.